Hey, welcome back to another night at Fringe. We're at Yes Please Perth with another Fringe artist. Before I introduce Whiskey, uh, she's going to sell her show to this camera. You've got 10 seconds uh, whenever you're ready. Okay, it's a great all round adult entertainment cabaret show. It's got burlesque, it's got circus, it's got comedy, it's got drag, singing. And it's a different lineup every night. It's really good all round entertainment. Great, okay, perfect. All right. As a performer, yeah. I feel like there's always other things going on in performers' lives that um, supplement this fantastic fringe lifestyle. Uh, well, I mean, being a burlesque performer isn't my full-time career. I've actually been working for 20 years in contracts negotiations and management okay. in the oil and gas and mining industries. Wow. And I actually just recently started studying uh, a law degree at Edith Cowan University as well on top of that. So um, sleep is a distant memory. Yeah. Um, my job is so very serious and it's very focused and dedicated and quite strict um, that I find that I need something for my creative outlet. It's really good for your mental health to have that balance and so when I started doing burlesque I just started going to classes as a hobby, it's something fun to do to get my body moving after sitting at a desk all day and it just kind of took off from there really. So now you're a fringe veteran, you're a fourth year in and yeah. you're producing the show. Yeah. How does that work as a producer now? Um, well I find that it's a great way to celebrate Fringe with basically my friends and my adopted family. Yeah. I, I love the fact that Flight Fancy is a different cast every night. Um, I can spread the love amongst all my friends and I also usually perform in the show myself as well. Oh, good. So it's just really great to see it come to life on stage after months of planning. We've had a massive amount of newcomers in the burlesque scene in the last few years mainly inspired by the experiences of seeing shows yeah. in Fringe um, to the point where at the start of this Fringe I actually produced a two-night show called Cabaret Le Papillon which was specially for newcomers in the burlesque and cabaret scene. So some of these performers had never performed that oh, act wow. on stage before. So Flat of Fancy you're saying is a different show every night, different cast. How, is, how does that work in relation to fitting a show together? Um, logistically, it's far more complex, but what I try to do is have consistency in the shows. So there's usually two to three performers that perform every night. So I try to make sure that no more than half of the show is for less, and the rest of it is that true all-round variety cabaret that you like to see in a show like that. Do artists get to rehearse together prior to Flight of Fancy going no, live? No, the artists develop their art in their own time right. um, so it's one of the most exciting things about Flight of Fancy is not really seeing the true nature of what they're bringing to stage until they actually bring it to the stage and that's why the yeah. tagline of Flight of Fancy is anything is possible. I also like to travel with my burlesque as well so I usually have one overseas trip every year at least with my burlesque and from that I have been a feature performer in Galway Burlesque Festival. Mm -hmm. um, last year I was in the New Zealand Burlesque Festival okay. and then I got to perform in Scotland for the very first time in the Glasgow Festival of Burlesque for their first birthday just a couple of months ago. What about as a Fringe viewer? Are you recommending any other shows to go and see across the Fringe Festival? I find that most things that Feminem produces is really entertaining. So we've got Diva, The Drag Starting, Review, Sue. Um, also Yuck Circus. Um, they, they, were, they won the Martin Sims Award last year. It's been amazing to see them tour internationally with their show and they're great girls and some of them are actually performing in Flight of Fancy for me as oh, well. Oh brilliant. Um, so it's good. that's part of the networking connection. We've got Clara Cupcakes who's an ex perth based performer who lives in Melbourne now. She's doing a show that I would highly recommend you check out as well. It's a great blend of comedy and burlesque. Flight of Fancy's on at Connections up until the 15th of February. You can see Whiskey and a whole host of other performers there. Looking forward to seeing it. Whiskey, thank you so much for thank joining you. us at Nice Fringe. Thank you very much. Thank you.